sup dudes and dudettes and anybody who'd like to identify as either a dude or a dudette. Cool. Um, not much to say except for the fact that I still need to catch up like, whoa. Finally getting into Act 6, Intermission 4. And Caliborn is walking a lonely road, the only one that he has ever known. Which is true, because it is the only one he's ever known. And he's always been lonely. But it's not really a Boulevard of Broken Dreams, no. I think I was being the worst kind of turd for opposing the idea so long. Because I thought I was being noble. Like, sacrificing something that was important and we all wanted anyways, just so I could fuck with the witch and her plans. I don't know what I was thinking. Because this shit here is P great, I have got to say. Now we are all, all of a sudden, in this crazy place full of pretty green hills and black, empty sky. I've never actually seen anything like plants growing or countryside. It's so peaceful and quiet here. I mean, the racket my lab pals are making outstanding. They're just chilling at Jake's old broken house on a mountain, figuring out what to do. <laughs> well, this all happened so fucking fast. I can't believe we're all here together like this suddenly. Just hanging out in actual person in our moon jammies. My phone just died. Loudly. This is better than I ever thought it would be in the silliest and stupidest way. It feels so surreal and amazing just being here with my friends. I'm still not even sure how this all came together. Mostly a lot of Machiavellian, heroic, extreme, strider bullshit. Like, I was under attack there, my colony was burning, and I remember dying. And I think Jane must have died too. She was on Durst, but I had no idea how she got there. I don't know if Jake dies here or what. All I know is people were just dying their asses off left and right. The beeline is we were all in some shit. Dirk, I think, must have killed himself and, like, shipped his own head to Jake on Makeout Mountain. But Dirk also kissed me, it would seem. Well, I was too dead to notice, unfortunately. But then I woke up on Durst, which was getting worked over by the red shit, too. And there Jane was, all lying there bloodily and heartbreakingly and probably dead. So I knew I had to kiss her. But... God, I feel so pathetic, but I just couldn't do it for some reason. I wanted to, but I guess the blood grossed me out, and I'm a total disgrace of a friend. I don't think I'll tell her because it's too embarrassing. Then Dirk wakes up and kicks my squeamish butt out the way and kisses her, even in spite of his superhuman gayness, because he sucks less as a hero. And then we were blasting off suddenly on a second rocket, and I don't even know what's happening, but it's also awesome, and we scoot by somewhere and pick Jane up in her yellow dress, and now she's flying with us screaming the whole time. <laughs> then we get to Dirk's plate. At Jake's place, and shit everywhere is on fire, and he's asleep there, so Dirk splashes him with a bucket of ocean and tells me and Jane to hide. So we do, and Jake wakes up and starts arguing with Dirk's gross head from the fucking future and climbs up on the stone wall for some reason and just starts making out with the head while the volcano explodes. Jane and I are like, what the absolute fuck? Well, Dirk's just there with his bucket, all like, yep. Then we all eat out of that popsicle stand, so now here we are. Wow, the story is a goddamn mess. What did I even just say? You said exactly what happened, sweetie. It's beautiful. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Mm. The head is still there. <laughs> I had to know. I'll try to make better sense of this later. I just wanted to tell you and thank you for all you did to bring us together like this. It has meant so v much to me. Oh, guess what? I even have a new lightning bug pal. He is toadies cute and friendly and blinky as all get out. I think I will name him Dr. Blinkbottom. No, that's shit. How about Twinkly Herbert? <laughs> I'm a fan. That's kind of sucky too. But I like it, so I'm gonna keep it. Herbert just blinked in total agreement. Oh my god, what a friend. Okay, Calliope. By which I mean, Calliope? Eh? Eh? Still nothing? Okay, well, I should go then. My party is getting a little bit rowdy over there. Oh my god, what are they actually doing? <laughs> Not even ten stinking mins into our magic best friend quest, and they're already jacking up the drama. You need to flag down the Dramambulance to haul these suckers away. Wow, they are being really absurd. Maybe it's just because I'm not tipsy at the moment, but this shit is like hell's of an amateur hour to me now. Right now. Maybe if I wasn't as sober as a nun getting slapped by a librarian, I wouldn't even notice. For reals though, may I just say, dying is a hell of a way to sober up real quick. Got to remember that trick. So hey, wake up soon. I will try again later. I'm going to steal some shit now. Ugh, I think I could use a drink. Tipsy Nostalgic TG sees pestering on dying Umbra Zhu Yu. Huh. She knew no one? Which I can't even remember. It was like two nights ago or something. So we didn't time skip that far. Unless we time skipped and then time skipped 
backwards again. But this is really funny. <laughs> this must have been just moments after what we just saw and not relating to um, other acts. Looking light. What's up, Gam Gam? Mm, his wings have honkadonks on them. A friendly clown welcomes you to place. It seems he would like to be your guide. Oh, you're stuck. Why you gotta be so loud? So loud. Nope. <laughs> He's like, nope, Caliborn. Caliborn, what are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> the wing is frowning now. Oh. And the cloak one is just floating back down to earth. <laughs> you finished brutally gunning down a semi innocent clown for like five solid minutes and turned your attention toward this mysterious tower. What the hell is this thing? Maybe that clown could have helped you understand what you're supposed to do in this empty wasteland, but no, you had better ideas. And all of them were bullets. Okay, Aridin, kill all the angels. Ooh. This looks complicated as fuck. You just think you can figure out everything by yourself, don't you? Who needs friends and allies, right? Friendship and allegiance are emotions for dipshits like humans and trolls. You really are quite full of yourself, you think. Yes, you just thought that. No, don't resist the thought you just had. You thought it, and you can't unthink it. You also think you are a mean little prick. You had that thought all by yourself, totally unprompted, and it is causing you to reflect on a lifetime spent being petulant and awful. Wait, no, on second thought you don't think that. You have no remorse, and you think you're great. No, you don't think you're great. You think you suck, and you regret slaughtering a juggalo. Please do not argue with your own brain. That's what a lunatic does. <laughs> you're really upset that you killed that sweet, helpful bard. No, don't pretend you aren't. He only wanted to be your guide. Would that have been so bad, you wonder? You wonder this to yourself while a tear rolls down your stupid red cheek. You turn away so that no one can see you cry, but you let it a muffled sob and everyone can tell how sad you are. Looks like he's about to start crying tears of frustration. Hey! Voice in my head! Yes? Shut up! No way! Then who would describe what you're thinking and feeling? Nobody! I can hear my... I can think my own thoughts just fine. They're less stupid and condescending than the thoughts you tell my brain to have. But your thoughts are shitty. You should be grateful to have someone to spice them up for you. No, what's shitty is you. And what's also shitty is the shitty piece of shit machine you live inside. I don't live inside this thing, you idiot. This is sort of like a radio tower. It receives and transmits signals. That's kind of obvious. It's not obvious. It's dumb and confusing. I demand to know what's going on. Tell me. Gamzee could have told you a lot of stuff. Who? I can't believe you shot him like that. What's the matter with you? He was literally the first living being you ever met in your whole life, and you got him down without a single word. You've got some problems. Oh, the clown. He was dreadful and purple and needed to be exterminated quickly. He was a huge fan of yours and was really looking forward to meeting you. He wanted to help you with your quest. This is my planet. No one else can live here. I don't need help. Yet you want me to tell you what's going on? Yes. Tell me immediately. Nah. Ugh! What? I'm getting frustrated, both by you and this fucking keyboard. Da -da. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> What's the matter with it? It's making it impossible to type my quirk. No, it's not. Yes, the caps lock key appears to be permanently depressed. How do I make it not like that? It's locked. You need a key to unlock it. You need the keys to unlock a whole bunch of features on this tower. Where is the key? How should I know? Because you're an infuriating font of knowledge about many things, including my own brain behaviors. Why should I tell you everything? Find your own fucking keys. It's your quest, remember? No, but typing like this is bad. It's really throwing me off. I don't understand the problem. I can't make my use little. No, I get that. But caps lock should make it easier. You do realize when caps lock is on, you can hold sh down shift to make the letters lowercase, right? No, actually, that's a Macintosh keyboard. When you hold shift with caps lock on, it does not make lowercase letters. I can show you right now. <laughs> Case in point. Caps lock key is on. I don't you can't see it, but it is on glowing. Now, finger on shift. 
It doesn't work that way on a Macintosh keyboard. It's true. It's entirely true. So. What? No, I don't use caps lock. I thought it was supposed to be like a training key for retards. Uh, training key. Maybe also for girls when they get hysterical and make the letters shout. Okay, got it. Really great theories there. So, how do you usually type then? Just, never mind. Hang on, are you saying you hold down shift with one hand while hunting and pecking for all the letters of the other? And whenever you type a U, you just let go of shift? I said never mind. Wow. Okay, look. I can acknowledge that the method you propose is a lot more efficient and sensible. I just have my own style, that I'm comfortable with. And also, I just never thought of that. How old are you again? Fuck you. Okay, the thing is, don't tell anybody I said this, but I've always had a lot of trouble at learning stuff. Yeah, I know. Fuck it. I'll just type in all big letters, even the U's. Who cares? Aw, oh, looks like someone just took his big step toward growing up. Actually, typing this way is a lot easier. Looks like I win this round, asshole. Win what? I was the one advocating the use of caps lock in the first place, doofus. Don't antagonize me. You aren't a funny person. I can tell you think you're funny. I may have problems learning, but I know when a piece of garbage is trying to be funny, unsuccessfully. You're right, I do think I'm funny sometimes. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Haha, <laughs> you are just a wrong and unfunny guy. We all have our flaws to overcome. I do my best just like you. Think of all you've done in spite of your learning problems. You don't let your disability hold you back, do you? I guess. You won that game of chess with that stupid gambit. Switching the rats, remember? It was a lame ploy and totally not in the spirit of the rules, but it got under her skin enough to force a loss anyway. You also hired Jack to murder your sister, which was a dick move, but reasonably clever. Yes, those things I did were great. Well, they weren't great so much as terrible, but the point is you can't accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. You can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. Just because you struggle with learning doesn't mean you can't realize your destiny. You just have to work a little harder at it. And if you're dealt a lousy hand, and you definitely were with a shitty solo session, then you have to work even harder. That's what I'm going to do. I know you will. You're going to prove all the haters wrong, exceed your own limitations by miles, and accomplish more than you ever dreamed possible. Yours is quite an inspiring story, actually. It's a shame that all of your accomplishments will be so horrible, but that's really beside the point. Yeah, I already knew I was incredible and special. What are you trying to do? Inspire me? Save your breath, fuckhead. No, I don't give a shit about making you feel better about yourself. I'm not your guardian or your sprite or your exile or your fucking life coach. I'm just saying some things that are true from the narrative prompt. Take the facts or leave them. Most of your facts are boring so far. I would like better and more useful facts right now. You may be destined for bigger things, but you're still an atrocious, stupid child. And you may have won the game with your sister, but that doesn't mean it was the best thing for your development as a person. You had her dream self killed, which is not an opportunity your species typically gets. So she died prematurely instead of allowing the conflict within you to settle itself naturally. In short, you forced your predomination to happen a little too early, and now you're stuck. Stuck? <laughs> your home's stuck. <laughs> yes. Your personality is stuck in some sort of cantankerous, prepubescent limbo. You're going to be a stunted, miserable tool forever. Well, how long am I even supposed to wait for that twee bitch to get out of my skull? It's kind of sad. You don't really know anything about your own species, do you? And I guess you do. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Tell me then. No. God damn it. It's like some kind of trolling, hussy narrator person. <laughs> Oh, he's dragging himself back. This dialogue is giving me a headache between your passive-aggressive obstinacy and your bizarre motivational diatribes and the fact that I'm having a hard time telling our text apart. What? You are? Kind of. Well, here's a hint. You're the one typing in capital letters. You're also the one typing in surly, brief, stilted-sounding phrases. No, but the colors are too similar. I know that some letters are big and some are small. How dumb do you think I am? I just have an easier time thinking in colors. What does that even mean, thinking in colors? I told you, my brain works differently, so shut up. Well, if you want to change your text color, you can if you turn on some of the monitors. This thing is like a needlessly complicated desktop computer, really. Made of, old, made of a radio tower of old CRT monitors rooted in a big transformer. It needs a power, though. How do I power it? You see that loose plug over there? Oh, fuck. Plug it into something. What a load of shit! The cord is so short. What can it even reach? I don't know, not my problem. Maybe if I pull it really hard, I can stretch it far enough to plug into that fucking rock over there? This is beyond asinine. This is your quest. In quests, there are challenges. Challenges which must be overcome by your tiny, learningly disabled brain. I hate you. What you really need is a guide. A mentor of sorts. Too bad you shot that clown. 
man. <sighs> Stop touting the wisdom of that imbecile with the disturbing underpants. The only thing he has taught me is how to receive hundreds of bullets to the torso in the last dignified manner possible, and also a crash course in dying a painful death, hopefully. Sorry to disappoint you, he's not dead. What? What did you expect? He's clearly a god tier. Bullshit. Haven't you ever seen a god tier before? You do know what that is, right? Yes, I know what that is. Then you know he's immortal and can only die under very specific circumstances. Yes, there's no point in trying to kill him. But his wings fell off. I saw them fall off. Hmm. Yeah, I guess they did. So? So? I think he's probably faking it. Oh, please. Paranoia much? Why would anyone go to that kind of trouble? What would be the point? He would have to be such a jackass to do that. I don't know why he's faking. I just know those wings were bogus pieces of shit that were, like, strapped on. Which means he is a fraud. Ooh, strap-ons. If you don't believe me, just see for yourself. Huh? You made the rookie mistake of turning your back on the body. Oh my god. How can he possibly still be alive? See? Fit as a fiddle. Barely a scratch on him. Just please don't shoot him again, okay? Why? If you say he's immortal, then it shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, I know what I said. All right, maybe he's not god tier. Who can really say for sure? Should I give him the machine gun a rest for a while? He really wants to help you. I don't understand why this fucker won't die. He's a hilarious rascally clown. You know how it is with clowns. No? They are notoriously difficult to kill for reasons that basically don't make any sense. I'm personally not aware of a single timeline in which this codpiece packing moron dies. What? What does that mean? It means you can't keep down the clown. Hmm? Say it with me. You can't keep down the clown. No, I won't say that. Say it. You can't. Go fuck yourself. Just tell me what it means. It means crazy clowns just won't die for some reason. In adventures such as yours, they tend to linger long past their welcome. They linger and linger and linger. And just when you think they're totally fed up with their bullshit and you can't take another second of it, they just linger some more. And you never know what they're up to. And they're always scheming in the shadows. And it's quite possible that whatever master plan they're hatching just doesn't make the slightest bit of sense at all. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how stupid the clown schemes are or how sick everybody is of him. He just won't die. This is honestly the worst sales pitch for a mentor that I have ever heard. Granted. But come on. Just let it slide this one time. Please. Just no more shooting. You can slap him around if you want. That's fine. But shooting is off limits. Why? Because you can't kill him. He's the most important character in... In what? Well, okay. Maybe not the most important. But he's still really important. I seriously think you've been mostly fucking with me. No way. Okay. Shh. Shh. He's approaching you. Come on, man, be cool. Let's just see how this plays out. Looks like he's got a present for you. Where would everybody could be? <laughs> Beautiful. You motherfucker. He looked at me funny. Yeah, wanna know why? Because he's a fucking clown! Do not type in big letters, it confuses me. Why do you have to be like this? Why can't you just be down with a clown? I don't know, I like shooting him. He ha just had this perfectly shootable torso. Hey, what the fuck is this horrendous music? What, you don't like it? It's just without a doubt causing me more pain than whatever this unkillable clown is feeling right now. Well, whenever you shoot the clown, I play the elevator music. Oh, fuck, no! That's the deal. Either shoot the clown and face the music, or put on your fucking big boy suspenders and stop trying to murder him. Alright, whatever. I find your stipulation to be tyrannical, but fine. Just plug a thing in the goddamn box already. Alright, now what? Now what indeed? Hey, the radio tower. Giant. thing. Jeez. Now all the monitors have power. Each one is set to a different channel, but they won't display anything unless they're unlocked. You unlock them by finding the right keys and using them on that little model of the radio tower next to you. One of them is unlocked for you already. Can you see it up there? Yes. Yes, I can see it. It's a view of my dead sister. What a beautiful sight. She really makes a more breathtaking corpse than I ever imagined. Whatever you say, weirdo. Anyway, it's like I said. This is a glorified computer. If you want to change your text color, you can sample some pixels from the display. This is perfect. I was intending on using a putrid green blood to color my text. 
were you? Yes, and she was going to be like painting my words in her blood as a token of my ruthless triumph. Then on the next time, I was going to harass somebody. It was going to be all like, look who won, it's me now. And I would be like, now what's up, bitches? It was going to be so badass. Okay. Also, this is a funny coincidence, but I was also batting around the idea of stealing her big user anyway. I mean, it's another kind of trophy, to let people know I'm whole, and the best sibling is in charge now. I was on the fence about doing that, though, but I guess your stupid locked keyboard maybe forced the issue. But I'll just say Bad Ashley was the reason, and omit the tedious anecdote with the keyboard. So yeah. Then let's consider this a serendipitous facilitation on your most juvenile typing fantasies. Let nobody henceforth mistake you for any guy who isn't trying as hard as he can to type like a cold-blooded motherfucker. Yes, that's what I want. Great, now grab that mouse there and pick a new color. Hmm. Excuse me, what the fuck is this? Oh, that's Ashley's fucking trackpad! <laughs> oh, no, trackball, trackball. I, I got used to using it, but she uses a trackball and it's like the hardest thing to get used to at first because you're all like, I want to move the thing, but you have to move it with your thumb and then your thumb gets all cramped up and it hurts. Excuse me, what the fuck is this? It's a wireless mouse. No, it's this awful kind of mouse. The kind of the glossy orb. I hate these. Yeah, trackballs are pretty terrible. Can't argue there. My thumb claw is kind of slipping on the shiny ball. This is incredibly difficult to operate. I really don't envy your situation. Also, this is an awkward advantage. If I want to use the mouse and look at the screen, I have to stretch my arm really far. It kind of twist my body to look around the corner like this. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's got a dead boner. Weird. Maybe that's why it's a wireless mouse? So you can pick it up and walk around the tower and use it on whichever monitor you want? But I can't move it! Pardon? It's stuck. Why is the mouse stuck? Probably because it's welded to the counter. Are you fucking serious? Yes. I cannot believe this! What sort of asshole would set up a wireless mouse and then weld it to the counter? That's a hell of a question. Oh. Oh, I am so, so pissed off at this. Who is responsible for this nightmare? I don't know. Someone who thought it would be funny watching you struggle with a shitty trackball mouse while the counter? I demand to know! Was it you? It was you, wasn't it? Maybe. This is like Homestuck itself he's conversing with. Mark my words, whoever you are. Someday I will track you down and kill you. You already did. Liar. It's true. It already happened, like the quasi future. Ah, uh, what? For someone who's supposed to be a lord of time, you really kind of suck at thinking fourth dimensionally, let alone fifth dimensionally. You got a long way to go, kid. Quiet. Your nonsense is distracting. Okay, there. Wait, this color's all wrong. It's too muddy. Yeah, the environment is pretty grim up here. Sky doesn't provide very good lighting when it's all clouded over like that. Just pump up the brightness on the display. Just like a back. Lol. Okay, how's this? That looks better. Wait, let me check. Okay, yeah. Hashtag 2ED73A. That's correct. What? That's the hex code for the color. What the fuck are you talking about? It's the numerical representation of the color in hexadecimal format. Okay, so? So I was just double checking to make sure it was right. And it was right. This is a particularly aggravating tangent to an already ghastly conversation. I'm definitely going to figure out who you are and how to kill you. But Caliborn, how do you expect to kill me when I'm already dead? <laughs> oh man. How is it actually possible for someone to be this obnoxious and unfunny? I don't know, maybe it's a miracle? Stop fucking with me, I'm serious. Oh no, he's serious everybody, look out. He's about to throw the tweeniest, brattiest tantrum his little green exoskeleton can muster. Stop it. If you pitch a fit in your little bow tie and suspenders, it will probably be so adorable that it might just drop dead anyway. Or my ghost will. Fuck you. Now I know you're full of shit. Ghosts can't die. That makes no sense. No, really, go ahead. Flutter your eyelashes at me. Make it as grumpy as possible. Kawaii me to double death, bro. I'm so close to just wreaking mayhem on literally everything within my tantrum radius if you don't stop teasing me and stop being useful to my quest again. Wait, shh. Settle down. Something important is happening. What? The clown. He wants to give you another present. Oh, God. But seriously, this present is really important. Just turn around and receive it graciously from your new mentor. He's not my mentor. 
And remember, no more clown shootings or I play the music again. Ugh. What is that? What does it look like? It's a magic crowbar. Why is he giving it to me? I'm not sure. I thought she knew everything. I know a lot of things, but I don't always understand his motivation for doing the stupid things he does. Why not? I just don't. Like, one time, he sold a girl some potions. I have no idea why he did that. Potions. Yes, potions. He also threw some corpses into a sprite to revive them, infuse their identities to create a disturbing freak of nature. I'm still not really sure why he did that. Probably just to fuck with everybody. What corpses? Mm, doesn't matter what corpses. Just some corpses, okay? The point is, he probably didn't even have any reason for doing it. He was just being weird and capricious. But that doesn't mean it, end it didn't end up serving an important purpose anyway. After the fused corpse sprite exploded, exploded, both of their ghosts got fed up and decided to start working together. And now they're doing some important stuff in the afterlife. But I kind of doubt this clown had any idea that would happen. Or maybe he did? Who really knows the clowns? Holy fuck, who cares about this? What about the crowbar? What about it? You said it was important. It is important. But I don't know if he knows that. I bet that crowbar is a useless piece of garbage. I will not accept it. Maybe he heard you bitching about the wireless mouse being welded to the counter and he's giving you something to pry it off with? Oh, right. Maybe that's it. But that's not why it's important. Then why? You know how at the start of an adventure you find some seemingly trivial thing that turns out to be important later, but at the time you have no idea why or how it'll turn out to be important? Yeah. It's like that. That doesn't explain anything. It explains everything. What's magic about it? What does it do? I'm not telling. Tell me what I'm supposed to do with it. No. Yes. Just take the damn crowbar. Okay, fine. I think I am developing a premonition about why this is important and what I'm supposed to do with it. Really? Yes, it's going to happen really soon. I can feel it. Wait, what are you... <laughs> hey, stop that. What did I say? You said shooting the clown was off limits, but I'm still permitted to smack him around. I'm just following the rules. That's true. Okay, I'll allow this. Yes! <gasps> <laughs> you piece of shit! I stopped allowing it. I think you must have mental problems. Ones that are worse than mine, I mean. I just want you to be friends with him and stop beating him into a coma with a crowbar. Or riddling his sad, floppy body with full metal jackets. Although I will admit it's hilarious every time that happens. Oh, this is amusing to you? Then what if, for laugh encore, I started fucking up your dumb tower? No, don't! <gasps> Oh, lord. <laughs> Bang! Yeah, that's it. MS Paint Adventures itself that he's hacking up. Well, I'll attempt to read this while it's jerking around. Cut that out! Make me! You're going to cause huge problems for everybody if you keep for yourself. Then shut off that music and make me useful again. How? Tell me about my quest. You brat, I'm not telling you shit. I could do this all day. Wow, this is just the most fun thing. I love this magic present. You know what? That clown, maybe he's not so bad. I mean, once I broke him in a little. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll tell you some stuff. Just quit it. It's an icon of hussy who's flying around. Has, been, has stuff been happening down here? Or is that new? Wait, stay still a second. <laughs> huh. Well, that's kind of funny how suddenly Hussy appeared. <laughs> it's like literally sitting right there. Thank you. Now, what exactly would you like to know? Everything. Everything is a lot. Care to narrow it down a little? Obviously not the boring, irrelevant things. Definitely not things like who kisses people with their unpleasant, non-skeletal, smushy lips. Just all the things that I need to know to win this game. That's not how adventures work, though. You just make some omniscient narrator inside a computer tell you everything all at once. There's like this whole process to it. You reveal certain things at the right time, depending on whether the hero has met certain requirements and is ready to learn those things. What you learn and what I tell you is more up to you than it is to me. Who cares? I don't want your excuses. Aren't you excited about your adventure? About being unchained for the first time ever, getting to explore this mysterious place and meeting people and solving puzzles that will lead to the realization of who you are meant to be and how you fit into this epic? No. So far, the adventure is boring and frustrating and consists of an idiot in a computer and a clown who won't die. I want to know when I get to start fucking shit up. 
you'll definitely get to do that later. When? Not long from now. Like, in a couple hours, or... That's up to you. There are puzzles to solve all over your planet. Your mentor can help. The sooner you do that, the sooner the fun will begin. You really aren't telling me anything. We had a deal. I put the crowbar down. Now tell me things. Why don't we narrow the scope of the Q&A, then? Try asking very specific questions, and I'll decide if it would be appropriate to answer them at the time. Yeah, good idea. Then my first question is, what is this place? The medium. You're in your game session. I know that. What's this planet, I mean? It was called Earth. Earth? That's it? Yes, weren't all the Statues of Liberty a dead giveaway? If you see one or more shitty old Statues of Liberty on any post-apocalyptic wasteland planet, that automatically means it was Earth all along, as a rule. Then when you realize that, you're supposed to have a mental breakdown. You know, Planet of the Apes? I am unfamiliar with this rule, and skeptical of its veracity. Tell me more about Earth. It's the place humans are from, but that was a very long time ago with respect to the planet's current age. Earth has been through a lot. It was even relocated a couple times. Yes, I brought it with me, I think, into the game. Yes, but it was relocated once even before that. It was moved from its native solar system, where it circled around a little yellow sun. Then it found its way to a new system around your big red sun. It stayed there for a good while until your sun started dying. Why would someone move a planet? Its universe was about to explode, so its proprietor closed up shop and got it the hell out of there. How? That's not important for you to know now. Suffice to say, planets just have this way of scooting around this adventure. Okay, why is this my planet in the game, though? Because your kernel sprite turned into a black hole and sucked it into your session? No, I mean, I thought I was supposed to have a cool and special place, like a land of something and something. You do. You just have to unlock it. That's when your real quest will begin. How do I do that? You know, finding keys, solving problems, all the potential for extraordinary achievements in your quest must be unlocked first. We've been over this. Where did I find the keys? I don't know. It's lies. Why would I know that? You think of an encyclopedia on key locations? I get better things to think about than where all your stupid keys are. Find them yourself. Better hop to it. No, more questions first. What am I ultimately striving to unlock? To make my real land appear? Is it just some sort of giant fancy keyhole? No, more like a big door. A thought of what? Treasure? Kind of. If there's any treasure in there, it would be guarded by your denizen. What's that? A powerful monster that rules your planet, asleep in the core. He appeared there the moment Earth got sucked into your session. What kind of monster? Is it a deadly, challenging monster? Yes, he is the deadliest, most challenging denizen of all. He rarely appears in game sessions and is usually designated for the most naturally gifted warriors. His name is Yaldabaoth. Which I think I'm pronouncing correctly, but I don't know.